Eleanor from the Carnegie Library in Air and this is Bookbug. We're here today to do some songs and rhymes. I hope you enjoy uh, taking part, both mums, our other adults and children of all sizes. Come on, let's go for it with the hello song. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Aye, 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 glad that you could come. Hello, says Bookbug. And another one of our favourites will do cross cross. Bookbug is going to sit around like here. If you've not been here before, I hope you have, just make sure, especially little babies are, se are secure, you know, where they've got their head. Don't strangle them either with your hand, that doesn't really help. Bookbug's sitting, he's a little bit bigger, he's sitting here on my knee. So do cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivies. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivies. One more time, but bug. Yep. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shivies. Ah, oh, but bug, that's nice, isn't it? Now we're going to do it round and round the garden. Bookbug likes, book likes pretty much anything that involves tickling, singing, actions, but he loves this one. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. <laughs> oh, Bookbug. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step. Tickle you under there. <laughs> round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. Oh, book bug. Ah, oh, book bug. Oh, he likes that, doesn't he? What will we do now? Hmm. Book bug, you may have noticed he doesn't really have any f proper fingers. He's very useful without it. But anyway, we're going to do with my fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. This little finger on the right. Oh dear, did, we, did I do that wrong book bug? It's easily done. We'll do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. This, which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. <laughs> oh dear, book bug. I think we need more practice. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on the right. Oh yes, book bug. Oh, it's all right, my finger's fine, look. And we said we were going to do some bouncing ditto. Hmm. We're just going to go up and down. So we're going to do bit bugs here. So it's little ones, make sure they're secure. Or any child. I <laughs> don't want to lose them when they're flying to the sky. So go up like a rocket. And some of the bigger ones one might want to face away from me, but little ones like to see their mummy or or other adult that's around. Okay, so we'll do up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and 
forward like a choo-choo train, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. Try and do it more quickly, book bug. Yep. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. <laughs> Yes, book, book bug, slow now, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. Book bug, you're having fun, aren't you? We'll do it one more time, regular speed. Up like a rocket, very high, down like the rain, back and forward. Forward like a choo-choo train. I keep saying one more time, but one more time. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forward like a choo-choo train. Yes, we'll stop and do something else. What are we going to do? Oh, will we look in this bag here? What we've got? What's in this bag? This looks quite a few things in there. Creatures, creatures in here. What do you think, book bug? Ooh, ooh, what have you got in here? So, and you may have noticed we've got Pooch up here on the table and if we've got animals in here, we'll put, sit them up next to them. Pooch comes along, he likes to listen and see what else is going on. Oh, what's that? It's a bunny or a rabbit, two different names for the same thing. So you might not be able to see him because the table's not out far enough. But what else have we got in here? When he sat up there, but he'll be listening to the story with his friends. Oh, another rabbit. What, what are all these rabbits doing in the bag? How are they? Oh, see, all these rabbits. Oh, there's another rabbit. Oh, book bug. Do you know all these rabbits? Oops, is that there? Another rabbit. Oh, we could be here all day. Oh, and... Another rabbit. <laughs> oh dear, dear. There's a rabbit. And... Oh! It's another rabbit. A rabbit with floppy ears this time. Oh, there's one more thing in the bag. Is that a rabbit as well? Hmm, I wonder. Yes, it's a rabbit. This is a different one with pink ears. Ooh. He is a rabbit that I've had for a lot of years. This rabbit. It's very cute, isn't it, with his pink ears? He can even sit over there by his friends. And the bag's empty. So what are we going to do with all these rabbits, book bug? I think we're going to read a book that's got a rabbit in it. What do you think, children? A book? Well, we are going to read a book that's got a rabbit in it. Here we go. And this book is called, I'll need to do it so I can read it and you can see it as well. It's called Hooray for Hoppy by Tim Hopgood. That's a good name for a man who writes such books. And it's published by Macmillan, who are very nice and let us read their books here online. So, right, we're going to start. So it's called Hooray for Hoppy. Hoppy woke up bright and early. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the air. Perhaps today's the day, he thought. But as he hopped to the top of his hole, he saw that the world was covered in snow. Too cold, he said, and he hopped back to bed. The next morning, when Hoppy hopped to the top of his hole, his nose felt cold and the grass felt crunchy. Too icy, he said, and he hopped back to bed. A few days later, Hoppy woke up much earlier than usual. Perhaps today's the day, he thought. Happy Hoppy twitched his nose. The air smelt fresh. Perhaps today really is the day, the day that spring arrives. So Hoppy hopped down the hill to see if it were true. Look at these beautiful trees. Hooray, said Hoppy as he heard the birds singing. It sounds like spring has sprung. Hooray, said Hoppy, as he sniffed the pretty flowers. It smells like spring has sprung. Hooray, said Hoppy, as he watched the lambs in the meadow. 
It looks like spring has sprung. Hooray, said Hoppy as he nibbled the fresh green grass. It tastes like spring has sprung. Hip, hip, hooray, said Hoppy on his, as his feet touched the warm ground. It even feels like spring has sprung. Today really is the day, thought Hoppy. He couldn't wait to see his friends. But when he reached the top of the hill, there was nobody there. So he thumped his back feet as hard and as loud as he possibly could. Ah, and look at that picture. Loads and loads and loads of rabbits. Oh, can we still see? Oh, I think that's Hoppy there up front in the middle. Oh, that's good, isn't it? All these rabbits. Hooray, shouted all the rabbits as Hoppy leapt high in the air. Spring has definitely and most wonderfully sprung. Oh, and look, here we have some questions. There are five senses that we use to discover the world. Hearing, we listen with our ears. What can you hear? What does Hoppy hear? He hears it. Tweet, 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 birds. Smell, we smell with our noses. What can you smell? What does Hoppy smell? Flowers. If you read this book with your uh, mummy or daddy or whoever, then you might be able to tell what the answers are yourself. Three. Sight. We see with our eyes. What can you see? And what does Hoppy see? Hoppy sees lambs. Four. Taste. We taste with our tongues. <laughs> Stuck my tongue out. What can you taste? What does Hoppy taste? Nice grass. We don't really eat grass, but we have nice other things. Five touch. We feel with our hands and our feet. What can you feel? I can feel big buggies, lovely and soft. What does Hoppy feel? He feels the warmth of the ground with the sun on it. Oh, that was very nice. So that was a lovely book, wasn't it, Book Bird? Hooray for Hoppy, and Hoppy's in spring, and we might even be past spring now that we've had some nice warm days. Hopefully we have lots more nice warm days to come. Okay, so we'll see what we're going to do next book bug. That's the book. Uh, we know one song that's got a rabbit in it. We did this last time, I think, but we'll do it again because we like it. Bookbug is going to sit there on my knee and I'm going to do the actions if I can remember them. <laughs> okay, so we go in a cottage, in a wood, a little old man at the window stood, saw a rabbit running by, knocking at the door. Help me, help me, help me, he said, before the huntsman shoots me dead. Come little rabbit, come to me, and happy we shall be. Oh, I like that. We'll do it a bit more quickly. You've maybe picked up the words, or you've heard it before, so you might know them anyway. So we go, in a cottage, in a wood, a little old man at the window stood, saw a rabbit, <laughs> we forgot that one last time, running by, knocking at the door. Help me, help me, help me, he said, before the huntsman shoots me dead. Come, little rabbit, come to me, and happy we shall be. Oh, we'll try it one more time. Hope you're enjoying this one. In a cottage, in a wood, a little old man at the window stood. Saw a rabbit running by, knocking at the door. Help me, help me, help me, he said, before the huntsman shoots me dead. Come, little rabbit, come to me, and happy we shall be. Oh, nasty huntsman, but the rabbit. And all his friends are fine. So that was nice. We like that one. And we're now going to do another familiar one, I hope, but where you may enjoy it anyway. So we're going to do, this is one that we do almost all the time. Head, 
shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. How's that? Try again. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Right, bookbug. Oh, that's what he, bookbug wants to do it really fast. He likes doing things fast and I like doing things slowly. So we'll do it fast first and slowly afterwards. Okay. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I don't know. Faster than that, boot bug. Okay, we'll try faster than that. Okay. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whew. Right, we get to do it slowly now, okay? So we're going to go head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, but like, I'm glad you quite enjoyed that. Even slowly, when fast is your thing. So, but we do it one more time, normal speed, and then we'll do something else. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done, everybody. Well done, Bookbug. Well done, me too. So, what are we going to do now, Bookbug? Will we do Twinkle Twinkle? Yes, why not? Twinkle Twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle Twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh, Bookbug says we do that one a lot. And what we're going to do now next is a really hard one. So we're going to see how we do. If you saw it, Bookbug and myself and some of our other library friends were out and about for uh, Bookbug's Big Splash in Bookbug Week down by the shore on rivers and that kind of thing round about Ayr and Ayr, South Ayrshire so when we, Bookbug and I were out on the beach at Green Shore we did a really hard one which was called She Sells Seashells so it's really quite hard to both remember and pronounce the first line we'll do a couple of times first for practice I also, there are three more lines but I must say that they're quite hard to remember. So we'll do, I say, the first line three times and then we'll start again and try and do the whole lot. OK, got that? But if you make mistakes, no problem, because it's really quite hard. We, we may make mistakes, but we'll try very hard not to. OK, so go. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. So I think, well, it was certainly the first line there. I think that was three times. So now we're going to do the first line and the other three lines. And you'll see how you, well, we are, you might never have heard it before. So you have no chance, but we'll try our best. Or very little chance. You're very talented, all of you, I'm sure. So we're going to try to do that. Seashells, seashells on the seashore. Seashore shells sells she, and the seashells she sells on the seashore are seashore shells, I'm sure. Yes! 
we did that well. So we're going to do it a second time and you can try as well, again as well and see how you do. But uh, if you watch this video again later, you can practice more, which is a good thing. That's what we do. She sells seashells on the seashore. Seashore shells sells she. And the seashells she sells on the seashore are seashore shells, I'm sure. Yay! <laughs> Yes, Bookbug, we're actually reasonably good at that. <laughs> quite good, I think. Yes, Bookbug. Yes, we're quite good at that. So what are we going to do next? Will we do that one more time? Yes, we're quite enjoying it. She sells seashells on the seashore. Seashore sells shells. <laughs> sells she. And the seashells she sells on the seashore are seashore shells, I'm sure. <laughs> We nearly got through that fine book bug, but yes, the more practice, the better you get. Yep. So what are we going to do now? Uh, so we're going to do one I don't think we've done before. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Yes, we are. So, and as usual, it's quite new. Well, it's quite a new one to us. So if we mess up or if we forget the actions, that's just normal and that's okay. But we'll just carry on. Okay. So it's called... An elephant walks like this and that. He is terribly tall. So you can do this standing up, children, if you like. Terribly tall and terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has no toes. But goodness gracious, what a nose. <laughs> what do you think about that book bug? And you saw my toe there as well, or at least my sock. So we'll try that again. An elephant walks like this and that. He's terribly tall and terribly fat. Can you see what I'm doing with my arms? He has no fingers. He has no toes. But goodness gracious, what a nose. One more time, I think. An elephant walks like this and that. He is terribly tall and terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. Oh yes, like that one, Bookbug. We'll do that one again sometime. So how are we doing for time? Ooh, oh dear me. Huh. I think we are going to do that one more time, are we? Hmm. Well, anyway, we, what we will do is we will do that one one more time. Okay, so an elephant walks like this and that. He is terribly tall, hold on, book bug, and terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. We're now going to do our favourite banana based rhyme. Okay? <laughs> You've seen us doing this one before. So we've got actions here as well. I haven't done this one for a while, I don't think. Oh, can I can't even remember what my favourite banana based rhyme is called. Oh dear. Oh no, my brain's gone. Ah. Bananas unite. That's what it is. Bananas unite. Bananas split. Go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas. Bananas to the left, bananas to the right. <laughs> Peel your banana and take a bite. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yes, book bug. Yes, we remember it. See? Bananas unite. Bananas split. Go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas. Bananas to the left, bananas to the right. Peel your banana. That wasn't very good. Peel your banana and take a bite. If you have some too, Bookbug. Right, one more time, Bookbug. <laughs> the bananas unite, bananas split. Go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas. 
bananas to the left and bananas to the right. Peel your banana and take a bite. Ah, we like that one. Yes, book bug. Right. Well, we, we said earlier that Bootbug likes tickling. You probably you might know that already. But so we're now going to do this one. There's Bootbug sitting comfortably. Bootbug, are you yes? Yes, he's sitting comfortably. So we're going to do pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes and hug your honey. What do you think of that? Nice big hugs. He likes tickles and hugs too. Right, Bootbug, there you go. We do it again. Pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes, and hug your honey. Oh. Right. Okay. One more time. One more time. Yes. Pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes, and hug your honey. <laughs> oh, yes, book bug. Oh yes, I think it's time for cross cross. So we did this at the beginning, so we and you might know it again anyway, who knows? But well Bootbug's gonna do it this way this time because he's getting a bit sleepy now. So we're going to do cross I can see if I can do it backwards. Cross cross line line spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. <laughs> Bit bug quite often faces the front with us. He's quite enjoying this. So here we go. Cross. Cross. <laughs> line. Line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries! One more time, book bug. We do it this way instead. This is more a normal way. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now we've got the shiveries! Oh yes, we enjoyed that, didn't we, book bug? One more thing to do, we're going to sing the goodbye song. So everybody wave. Bye bye babies. Bye bye babies. Bye bye babies. Have a lovely day. Bye bye children. Bye bye children. Bye bye children. Have a lovely day. Bye bye mommies. Bye bye mummies, bye bye mummy mummies, have a lovely day. Bye bye daddies, bye bye daddies, bye bye daddies, have a lovely day. <laughs> Who else? Bye bye grannies, bye bye grannies, bye bye grannies, have a lovely day. Bye bye grandpas. Bye bye grandpas, bye bye grandpas, have a lovely day. And bye bye to everyone else, to Pitch and all the rabbits also say goodbye. We look, we enjoyed today and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye.